start recording and then hello youtube hi 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 we are playing ratchet and clank game number 196 too dude every time i see just how many games we've played it blows my mind man can't believe we've i mean not finished but that we've played 196 games on stream also the little uh bit jar down there is a little broken let me fix that real quick Just open that up. Refresh. That should fix it. There we go. That looks better. Uh, first slot. That's fine. Welcome back to Behind the Hero. Tonight's heroes are the duo who recently restored peace and order to our galaxy. Ratchet and Clank. So, gentlemen, tell us about your latest incredible adventures. Well, as you can imagine, we've been pretty busy. After Drek's defeat, there were parades, press conferences, fancy dress balls. And the wiener roast at Al's. Oh, yeah, that. And then things started to slow down a bit. After that, we, well... There was the grand opening at Groovy Lube. Right. I think that was last week. Six months ago. We're still pretty busy, but in a more, uh, domestic sense. Yesterday, I flushed out my radiator core. That's good. I guess... No one needs a hero right now. I didn't take away your bits. Your bits are still there. I just refreshed the jar. <laughs> Little bottom, I found our man. Noodle bottom? Is that Noodle's butt? Are you in this game, Noodle? Well, your butt, rather. Welcome. What the? I'm Abercrombie Fizzwidget, founder of the Megacorp Company in the Bogon Galaxy. Bogon? I'm sorry to incapacitate you, but our entire galaxy is in a very precocious situation. I must humbly request your sustenance on a mission of dire urgitude, a mission of superfluous peril, a mission of unequivocal imperitude. Did that make any sense? No. So, you need me to go on a dangerous mission in another galaxy. Indubitably. A few days ago, this top secret biological experiment Aww, was look how stolen cute, dude. from our testing laboratory. This duplicitous criminal mastermind, and I need you to get the experiment back. We'll do it. We will. Frank, I have precipitated your recalcitrance and have made special improvisation for you. We are prepared to give you a job as the head accountant for Megacorp, plus a penthouse suite in lovely Megapolis, and our state-of-the-art robotic masseuse. Deal. As for you, Ratchet, I'll need you in some purgatory shape. While in transit to the Fogon Galaxy, you will undergo heavy training and conditioning, including martial arts, heavy weaponry, survival skills, stealth, macrame, ballroom dance, and origami. The origami is important, dude. <laughs> the girl robot sells it. For some reason, I feel like the girl robot's evil. I don't know why exactly, but. Sir, ready for launch. Something tells me she's evil. I feel like maybe I've seen something somewhere, or maybe this is one of the ones that I played when I was a kid. But I feel like something about that girl, the girl robot there, the masseuse robot, is evil, man. Not friendly in some way. Ratchet reporting. I'm on final approach to coordinates 37 Alpha. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Affirmative. Beginning radio silence. Let's go, dude. Oh, okay, that was just, I thought it actually, like, popped up with a save screen or something. I was like, wow, man, way to just pull us right out of the action. Okay, we got our double jump, squares our attack. We can pick our weapons. We have Lancer and Gravity Bomb. That's how we shoot. Uh, can we do the, like, no, not yet, at least. We can aim and shoot. Hey, look at that. It's even set up properly. Up is down, down's up, left, left, right, right. Look at that, dude the proper way to aim We've got our map and all of that shit okay cool oh, do we have like a ground attack hold triangle and select an icon with the left uh, like a ground pound yeah there we go don't tell me how to win dude what if I just want to beat these guys with a freaking wrench man I don't remember the name of the YouTuber, but I watched somebody on YouTube try to beat some of the Ratchet & Clank games using nothing but the wrench. Pretty interesting. I love watching challenge videos like that. Those are the type of challenge videos 
or streams or whatever that I don't think I could ever do, to be honest with you, because it's just, be just so annoying after a while, man. Because you know there's going to be, like, spots you're going to get stuck on and that you're just going to spend hours on just one spot trying to figure out a way to, like, I don't know, make it over a little hump because the challenge is you're not allowed to jump or whatever. Like, I don't think I can handle it, man. Can we... Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think we I think we can jump out of here. And I don't think that would end too well for us. Camera's a little awkward sometimes. That's fine. Yeah, we fall a lot faster than the camera does when we're ground pounding. Can we, like, hit this or anything? Does it do anything? No. That's a life orb. We don't need that because we are A-OK. -okay. The auto-aim is not, like, perfect. Which I'm sure is intentional. I don't... I'm not saying it's, like, bad or anything. Just good to know we still need to be kind of aiming in the right direction. Oh, shit. You're a bad guy. <laughs> Almost let him just run right into us, man. Okay, then I'd say what I found out, but you shall not spoil. Appreciate that, yes. Do not spoil. But I do think she's evil in some way. Can we get crushed? No, okay. Oh, there's nothing else even down here. All right, fine. I didn't check that corner. I was like, maybe there's some stuff. Try there's no stuff. Gravity bomb here. Hold triangle. Okay. How's that gravity bomb? It looks like it's just a regular bomb. Which, I mean, is cool. Don't get me wrong, man. <laughs> like, I'm into the bombs. But it doesn't seem like it's a, a gravity bomb. I thought it was going to, like, suck everyone in or something. Nah, that sounds cute, Noodle. I see it's time to update my security forces. Whoa, whoa, no, hey, no, no, look. I'm just here to fix the transflexor coil. Nice try. Give my regards to Megacorp. Finish him. <laughs> oh, God. They're so fucking stupid. I love it. Ah, that was terrible. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, it seems like the bombs don't hurt me whenever I shoot them, you know, a foot in front of me. That's it's important info. It's good to know. Is there like a quick switch? Yeah, okay. If we if we double tap, it seems like it quickly switches between the last two weapons that we were using. And we're going for a slide. Yeah, let's... Uh, this looks like the perfect opportunity for bombs. I feel like we should be using our gravity boots, or not gravity boots, our mag boots right now or something, man. This doesn't feel safe. Also, what kind of ship just has its freaking window open like that? <laughs> like, Bugs hmm. for less. If it ain't broke, we'll break it. Right. I'm in the market for some security. You'll bring the cash, we'll bring the thrash. Good. I need your best men to meet me at these coordinates. Bro, do you not know who we are? Like, I don't think your thugs for less is going to do shit against us. I mean, granted, I am a little alone at the moment. I do my best work when I'm with... Your health has improved. When I'm with Ratchet, or Clank, rather. So those little things are actually called nanotechs. Good to know. I'm going to forget that. They're just health pickups, man. That's all they are. Uh, ow. <laughs> Can't. Is, can we uh, recenter camera? No. Okay. I just got to. It's kind of hard in this tight hallway. It's fine. Surely there's going to be some baddies that pop up here, right? Go to the options menu. Yup. Yup. 
Do, do, do. Y'all be dead. Hi, little guy. No secrets? Okay. <laughs> Camera can be a little bit awkward sometimes. That's that's fine. You grow to expect these things playing a lot of retro games. That's all right. wonder how long Clank's going to be gone for. It feels weird not having Clank strapped to our back, man. I assume they did it so they can have, like, the whole sense of progression, you know? Because a lot of our movement tech comes from Clank in the Ratchet and Clank games. Badass over here, dude. Even the robots are dumb. Ratchet checking in, sir. Incredulous. I didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, so soon. There was a slight problem. The thief escaped with the experiment, and I have no idea where he was headed. Not to worry. I just received an omission which may lubricate the matter. I think you're making up words. Do you have any maps for this quadrant of the galaxy? A lubricate? You bet, mister. We got galactic maps, 3D maps, foldouts, cutouts, maps to the stars, and their homes. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, I forgot my wallet. Could you, you know, take care of this? That's not very nice, my guys. Dude's just an honest map salesman. What do you gotta try to murder him for like that? Does anybody watch the Ratchet and Clank movie while we're on the topic? I watched it, I don't know, maybe a year ago at this point, give or take. I know it didn't do so well, but I actually didn't mind it, to be honest with you. I thought it was decent as far as, like, cartoony video game movies go. And compared to a lot of older video game movies, it was just downright excellent. But <laughs> it's not also a very high standard to go off of either, so... You yeah, know, there's that. What do you got for us, man? We probably can't afford anything yet. Chopper, throw deadly discs at your enemies. Nice, dude. The Blitz Gun, get up close and personal with your foes. Then blast them. So shotgun and blade gun. We almost have enough for the blade gun thing. Throw your wrench, hold R1 and press square. It's weird that the camera doesn't follow the direction Ratchet's facing. That would make, like, aiming this much easier. Can we aim it like this? We can. That definitely makes it easier, though. Still fairly awkward. Get wrecked. I need my ability to, like, spring forward with the, the helicopter, the helipack from Clank. It's like dodge rolling in other games, you know? You just gotta... It doesn't work. It's very sad. Where'd we get ammo from? Did one of those low dudes drop it, or did I break a thing and just forget? Hello, my guy. Oh, well... <laughs> I was here to save you, man. If you just held on for another second, I had to collect my stuff first. Be reasonable now. What's the little bar at the top? Is that an experience bar? Or... Oh, that's like our level. Okay, very cool. Or at least for our health. I will say this, I don't like the display for the health as much as 
I did in uh, the first one. I think it was the first one. Maybe it's the remake that I'm thinking of that just like shows the little balls, not whatever you want to call that display. Got him. You look like a good excuse to use a bomb. Uh, die. Some of the speed runs for the Ratchet and Clank games are really interesting to watch too. The movement tech that people have found over the years to just absolutely break the game is wild. Thank you, thank you. Press triangle to interrupt messages. Thank you. Tell me how to interrupt messages? I shall. Uh, ow. Dude, don't throw up on me. That's not very nice. I wouldn't just run up on you and throw up on you. Where's this guy at now? I hear him crying somewhere. To strafe, you can hold down L2 or R2 while running sideways or backwards. Good to know. Ow. <laughs> okay, we probably need... That's not what I was looking for, but does it work? <laughs> Maybe? I'm assuming we need to go for the eyeball first, but I can't actually tell. Oh, jeez. Anything? I'm probably expecting too much, but I keep thinking there's just gonna be like stuff hidden at the top of these boxes. Anytime I see a stack of boxes, I get paranoid, like, that I can't break them all because there could be something hidden above them. And the only way to get up there is, of course, by leaving just the right number of boxes and then jumping onto it and then jumping from there. Break everything? I need all the money? What are you? Weird floaty thing over here. Does this still do, like, AoE? No, it does not. Lame. Yay, we got a thing! Oh, is this like the hacking tool? Dynamo activates machinery. Press circle to use the dynamo to zap that activator. Or no. Not the hacking tool. Just machine zappery tool. Uh, thank you. Does it work against enemies at all? Mm, I'm assuming not, because it doesn't seem like we can shoot it in any way. Oh, we can activate it from a distance, though. That's good to know. Oh, wait, there's one down here, too? Sure. Give you a little zappy zap. Did I just... Oh, it only works for, like, a period of time. That makes sense. And I just fell off of it. <laughs> so I'm assuming it does one cycle and then it quits. Dad, ah, no! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. The music in this store is awfully serene for... You know, being filled with murderous bug things. Is 
does not seem like an optimal shopping experience here, man. What do you expect all of the creatures to do, or all of the, the patrons to do, that don't own Dymos? Or do you just have to, like, buy one at the door before you're allowed in? Too poor to buy one? Sucks to be you, man. Guess you don't get to be part of our exclusive club. What did I come over here for? Where am I going? There, oh, maybe through the doors. <laughs> that would make sense, huh? Oh, son of a... That's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> Honestly, fair. I can't even be mad at it. That was 100% on me, man. That was a pretty obvious hole in the in the floor there. Thank you for choosing Mega Corp for our customers. Come first. Zap and zap and go. How you bastard? wonder what Clank is doing in all this. Probably getting the greatest massage of his life. That's my guess. Just living it up in his, like, presidential suite or whatever he was given. Getting all of the, uh... I don't know, his joints greased, I guess? Uh, like... <laughs> Is their new head accountant too? Yeah, but I mean, come on. What does a head accountant really do? Ooh, okay, wall jump. Wall jumping is still a thing. Good to know. Are there any like secrets down there that I should be collecting? No. Just a safety net in case you fall, I guess. I don't know if this is the one I played when I was younger. None of this feels familiar yet, at least. So I'm thinking probably not. But I'm not positive. Okay, we definitely need the magnet boots for that. Either that or, like, whenever we hit this thing up here, it's going to enable a magnetic field, maybe? What happens if I just... Nothing? Okay. Did that enable this? No. Bro, if there's not a secret up there, I'd be pretty surprised. Oh, yeah, no, there's definitely something. There's a door. Game doesn't want us to go up there yet, though. Uh, okay. I didn't- I didn't realize what this was. Excuse me? We made it. That was close, man. <laughs> Ratchet, come in. Are you there? I am. I'm here. Hello. Listen, I have some new inflammation on our experiment's wherewithal. The thief was indemnified Inflammation? Come on, Resort. man. Also, the thugs have towed a moon-sized jamming array into Maktar Resort orbit. Should I take it out? A formulas. It's discomfrapulating our annual collection. I do not like this guy. <laughs> I do not like this guy. I do not trust this guy. Ask yourself, are you man enough, hero enough, insane enough to step into the ring with two of the fiercest warriors in the galaxy? If you yeah. answered yes, oh, yeah. you're a big, fat oh. liar. But that's okay, because Megacorp is bringing galactic gladiators into your home for a special mega view event. 
first, it's survival of the fittest in our bio competition. Be there as Chainblade, Chainblade, unleashes his fury on our gladiator guest contestants. Chainblade has gone undefeated in 500 straight matches. But if the bio division doesn't do it for you, our robotics division will. Taste the adrenaline as contestants face off against our four-armed bandit, the B2 Brawler. Brawler, Brawler. No living creature is a match for this machine. Watch six tons of carbonox alloy hunt for its prey. There's no consolation prize, cause this bad boy's programmed to show no mercy. So, what are you waiting for? Call now to bring Chainblade and the B2 Brawler into your living room. But put away the fine china. <laughs> the Galactic Gladiators only a Fucking Mega cheesy, dude. dude. <laughs> it's Chainblade, terrible huh? in the best kind of way. Ratchet out. Downloaded coordinates for Maktar Resort, Maktar Nebula. Very cool, my guy. This fucking music, though, dude. I hate everything about it. <laughs> they have Hidden Valley Ranch ice cream. I saw that, sadly. To access your map, then press X to open the mission screen. I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, I've heard of some weird ice cream flavors that are actually pretty good, apparently. Um, like, I never personally tried the mac and cheese one, but a YouTuber that I watch, I think it's Glenn and Friends uh, cooking or something along those lines. Anyways, he made his own, like, craft dinner because he's Canadian. Uh, ice cream and apparently like the cheese powder and the ice cream was actually pretty good <laughs> so like I'm not gonna say that it's bad but it sounds pretty bad with that said as a joke I was on lunch the other day and I was talking to a friend of mine uh, in the break room at work and I was eating strawberries and I had some ranch left over from the carrots that I was eating beforehand and to just like, I don't know, to be dumb and to get his reaction, I was like, do you ever just dip your strawberries in ranch while you're eating them? And then just casually dip my strawberry <laughs> in the ranch and uh, threw it in my mouth. Expecting it to be terrible, but you know, thought it'd be a funny little bit. And uh, to my surprise, it wasn't foul. <laughs> like, it wasn't what I would call good. Like, it was fine though, right? Like, it was edible. Which was surprising, to say the least. It sounds horrible? Yeah, I mean, it definitely doesn't sound good. But like I said, I don't know, man. It could be. It could be. It could be good. It's probably not good, but it could be good. I'd be willing to try it, at least. You bread and toast with ranch as a snack, so... I mean, <laughs> to me, that sounds better than strawberries and ranch, at least. You know what I used to do growing up, though? I haven't done it in my adult life, but growing up, whenever I needed a snack, man, I'd eat uh, Miracle Whip sandwiches. Just <laughs> put two pieces of bread in the toast, you know? <laughs> Throw some Miracle Whip on them bitches, and... Mm. It's like we didn't usually have, like, just deli meat in the fridge or anything like that, like, to easily make a sandwich out of. So it was like... <laughs> so... <laughs> You know, I didn't have, like, any, any easy ingredients to make a sandwich out of as a kid. So if I was hungry, then you know, there you go, dude. Couple pieces of toast, some Miracle Whip, you got yourself a sandwich, my guy. <laughs> you take my word on it? I don't know, man. I think you should try it. Try it to dip your strawberries in ranch one of these days. <laughs> you won't regret it, probably. <laughs> because <laughs> it's not something that, like... I'm gonna start doing on a regular basis or anything like that, but again, it, it's surprisingly not bad. Like, it's fine, you know? That's that's the gist of it. It's fine. It's just okay. Miracle Whip, yummy. I'd, I'm assuming you're a fan of Miracle Whip. I like both Miracle Whip and Mayonnaise. I know a lot of people that either eat only one or the other. Um, I'm perfectly fine with both. I, for most sandwiches, I prefer Miracle Whip. Um, but there are some things like burgers, for instance, where I think mayonnaise does actually do a better job. Like, got to call that place, see if you can schedule your top surgery. Yes, don't forget to do that, my guy. <laughs> that seems a little important. And your doctor to reschedule another appointment. 
Then you got lots of work to do. Fuck, this week is going to be busy. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I hope you get a chill week soon, my guy. Oh, God. You hate mayo unless you have no other option? Fair enough. Wait, how far are you going? I don't even know which way we're supposed to be going. I mean, not that we're necessarily supposed to be going anywhere over here right now. It's just, you know, I saw an open path, so of course I was going to go. Yeah, for like tuna salad, chicken salad, um, tomato sandwiches, anything like that, Miracle Whip is by far the better option. But, like for burgers, I don't know, man. Some, some, oh God, I'm so fucked. Yep. On like burgers, for instance, man, you, you take some, some mayonnaise, mix it with some, some ketchup and mustard and stuff and just, mm, it's just a perfect pairing. I agree with the whole Burger King thing too, dude. The Whopper, one of the best fast food burgers out there, dude. Really good stuff. Yeah, see, like, it was weird growing up, because my family has always been more of a Miracle Whip family, right? Like, my, my grandpa, my mom, myself, we all prefer Miracle Whip. But then, whenever uh, she remarried and got with my, well, now ex-stepdad, but my brother's dad, they're a mayonnaise family. Like, hardcore mayonnaise family hate Miracle Whip. So it's like just kind of split down the middle so i mean we had both growing up in the fridge um but still i just i just preferred miracle whip in nearly every instance another good thing used for mayo uh when you're making grilled cheese since mayonnaise is basically just oil and eggs with a little bit of seasoning in it uh if you're making grilled cheese you can use mayonnaise instead of butter on the bread and that works pretty well i think what Noodle and I have started doing. Noodle's usually the one to make the grilled cheese sandwiches in our house. If I'm not mistaken, though, I think what she usually does now is mix, like... Correct me if I'm wrong, love, but haven't you been mixing, like, half and half? Like, putting a little bit of butter, like, half as much as usual or whatever, and then doing the rest in, uh, in mayonnaise? Cyndaquil, Rowlet, or Oshawott? Uh, Oshawott. Ooh, what starter should Rue pick? I have always picked, for my first time playing through a Pokemon game, the water Pokemon. So I want to say Oshawott for that reason, but little Cyndaquil is pretty cute, dude. Like, I do like me a Cyndaquil. How do we get over to there must be that one maybe maybe it's that one in the middle I don't think I've actually jumped on that one in the middle yet have I this one here where do you take us oh you want an actual poll for it oh I didn't see that you my bad man like I said the the request queue doesn't actually pop up on where I usually read things at, so. I didn't see it. My bad, my bad. Uh, manage poll. New poll. I don't know who's still awake <laughs> to answer your poll, but Rue needs a starter. We got Asha Want. We got Cinda Quill. And we got Rowlet. W L E E T T. I think I spelled all those right. Uh, ten minutes is probably too long. We'll do three. There you go, my guy. Hole is alive. I uh, hold on. Let me actually just pull them up real quick. Let me get a good look at them here, man. Uh, no. Hmm. I think, well, I can't vote on it myself, sadly. Uh, what game are you playing? <laughs> I'm 
I'm very confused. But... Oh, see, I haven't played Arceus yet. I need to. I have it. I didn't realize those were the three picks because I'm like, hold on a second. Those are all from different generations. <laughs> so, like, I got very confused. Cyndaquil is very cute, but if you always do Cyndaquil, then my first vote would be on, uh, on, on Oshawott there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be my vote, my guy. I don't know if Noodle, Chocobo, or Nate is still awake, but if you guys are, you should help uh, Rue pick out their their starter, my guys. I mean, I'm pretty sure Noodle's awake, but she's probably ignoring us. That's how it usually goes. <laughs> Cyndaquil. Hell yeah. So that would have been... Probably my first vote if it weren't for Rue always doing Cyndaquil. Just because Cyndaquil is pretty cute. And I got a soft spot for the older Pokemon, you know? So those are the ones I played when I was a kid. But I do always, uh, like I said, my first time playing any Pokemon game, I always go water. Because my very first Pokemon was Squirtle on Pokemon Blue? Pretty sure it was Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, it was Pokemon Blue is the one I had when I was a kid, so... No, Noodle just calls me a mean all the time. Not a meanie. That's just that's just how Noodle says stuff. She's weird. You get used to it. You look like you're gonna go the wrong way. Hmm. Oh my god, I don't want to talk about Sobble. <laughs> I got I got so tired. Like Sobble over time I grew to like. But they're just so... The cold crying thing constantly was just a bit much, man. And Cyndaquil wins with two, dude. I don't know if that counted my vote or not. I can't see at the moment how many votes Oshawa had. But yeah, it's looking like a Cyndaquil, dude. You did count it? Okay. So there we go, dude. Cyndaquil it up. Now, have you played through Arceus before, or is this your first time playing through Legends Arceus? Welcome, welcome. Uh, if everyone could take their seats, we can proceed with today's demonstration. First, I'll need a volunteer. Anyone? Well, I mean, I'm Excellent. the only person here, so... Your name, uh... sir. Ratchet. Hey! And there you have it, the Megacorp Tractor Beam in action. Let's give it up for our volunteer. Sir, how about taking advantage of our show special? I Tractor Beam for 1,000 bolts? Let's go, dude. Thank you, sir. You won't be That's actually really cheap, man. That kind of worries me. The Tractor Beam moves small and medium-sized objects which have glowing orange targets like these. Press circle to move those columns so you can scale the cliff. You have played it before, but this time around you want to actually complete the Pokedex. Good luck, my guy. I've planned on it a few times. I was at one point working on a living dex for, for the Pokemon games. It's something that, I don't know, I've, I'm still considering doing. But I just don't know, like, is it really worth it? You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I need to, like... I need to decide how I want to do it. Because, yeah, like... Every time I've thought about doing it, I've always been... Wanting to do it natively to that game, not importing any. Uh, but, like, it got so high. Nowadays, the number's not as bad. Like you mentioned, Arceus is 200. Uh, Sword and Shield and whatnot are, what, like, around 400-ish. Which is still a lot, but it's also a lot better than the fucking seven or eight hundred that were in X or no uh, Sun and Moon. But I just I don't know if it's worth actually getting a living Dex or not. I do want to, cause I do have I have a Pokemon Home I think it's called now, right? I have a subscription for that, and I uh, do want to like keep my main team or something, cause I was thinking of doing. Whatchamacallit. 
nuzlocks through all the games and after completing a challenge like that i think it would be cool to keep the the winning team or maybe just all of the pokemon that sacrifice their lives plus the winning team or something along those lines you know something like that i think would be pretty cool but i think i've given up more or less on the whole idea of having a, a complete living dex just too much of a time sink and i don't i don't have the time for it you want to complete the squish decks, but you don't know if you want the 10 inches or 12 inches from the Pokemon Center with the fancy little embroidered badge. Oh, yeah. See, when when you first said you wanted to complete the squish decks, I thought you meant literally you wanted to get every squish mallow noodle. And I was just thinking to myself, like, that is actually crazy, my love. <laughs> like, that is a ton of squish. And some of them are so hard to come by. Do it to the Nuzlocke, you'll do it too. I do want to, uh, but I just need to get the rest of the games. They're expensive, sadly. <laughs> but like, I mean, I have, if I can find some way to capture footage on a DS, like if I get, you know, a uh, modified DS or whatever, I do have the games on that. <laughs> the the uh, red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, cr crystal. And the, I have the physical crystal cartridge, of course, like... So it's like, yeah, I don't know. But at some point, sooner or later, and of course the crystal one is up for Levotes for us to play. And that is going to be a Nuzlocke style. The only problem with that is, since it's like the physical game, I there's no way for me to transfer, at least not easily. I don't know if it's even possible to transfer the Pokemon all the way from Crystal up to the new ones with the physical game. With the digital one, you can, because you can transfer from the DS to Pokemon Bank, and then from Bank to, to Home. Wonder where you got that fancy Crystal game? I don't know, man. It just kind of appeared one day. Really weird. Yeah, but that only works for the digital games. Not for the physical games. Right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I thought that only worked for the digital copies of Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal. May I help you? So I could be wrong on that, though, so do correct me, like... I said. Well, Clank got fucked. Wooposh Nebula? Oh, shit. Ships under attack, shoot down all enemies. Fire guns, fire secondary weapons. And activate turbo. Suddenly, it's a Kingdom Hearts game. We got barrel rolls. And we can straighten the ship. And activate turbo. Is there somewhere we're actually trying to go? Are we just trying to murder the baddies? What... I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Okay, yeah, I think we're just trying to murder all the baddies. Because there's a there's a counter down there for how many bad guys there are left. This little map in the bottom right, isn't that helpful? I don't know. Are they under me? Are they over me? The problem with, like, fighting in a 3D space, man, <laughs> makes it a wee bit confusing. Oh. Oh, we got some raritanium. I don't... It's, I don't even know how that happened. Uh, where is everybody? Okay. I see one. Uh, he's gone. I don't have the best control of my ship here. I guess it makes sense in this game, you know, to have the whole, or in the, this series, to have the whole space fight thing, but not every game needs to be a space shooter, my guy. Die. Die. What I will say is, this is more interesting than gummy ships in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Also, that's, that's a lot of bros. Am I taking damage? My controller was shaking a lot. <laughs> Wait, are all of these guys dropping 
Raritanium? Now, I guess not all of them. Must have just got lucky with a few drops or something. Right, I hope there's not too many ways to this because we've lost like half our health. Common Tanium. <laughs> Maybe Rare Tanium is just like a component in shipbuilding. In spaceship building. So that's why it's so common right here. We are getting fucked. They're like behind me. I don't know how to... Got partial shield. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Wait, did we get that for like blowing up a thing? Are there power-ups in the in the asteroids? Enemy nice. Defeated. Thank so God, man. We, we were pretty close to dead there. Wait, what? Okay. When we didn't instantly load out of that section, I thought we had to actually fly somewhere. Suddenly Kingdom Hearts 3? Bro, I'm looking forward to replaying Kingdom Hearts 3. Because I never got around to doing my hard mode completionist run that I've done on the uh, other Kingdom Hearts games. Even though it's the worst of the Kingdom Hearts games, I'm still looking forward to it. The worst of the mainline Kingdom Hearts games. My opinion will forever always be Rechain of Memories is the worst worst. That I played at least. Like, there was that mobile game that was exclusive to Japan or something. And then I've never played Key, and I don't think I ever will play Key. We are really short on that. No shotgun for us. Oh god, th that's not a usable weapon. <laughs> okay. Let's get the chopper, man. I wanna I wanna shoot some blades at people. You didn't like either Nintendo games? So wait, the, do you mean like Dream Drop Distance or Um Re not Chain of Memories. What was it called? Re Oh god, am I gonna have to pull it out? <laughs> I don't even know where my DS games are. Never mind. Re something. Oh, and then Chain of Memories was originally a Nintendo game as well, but I've heard it's actually Chain of Memories is actually better on the Game Boy Advance than on the PS2. Oh shit, we're dead, dude. Damn. Okay. That's what I get for not paying attention. You gotta go to bed? Have a good night, dude. Thank you for coming and hanging out for a bit. I appreciate you. I hope class and your appointment making and all that goes well. Five fifty-eight slash <laughs> two. Yep, that, that's the name. <laughs> so yeah, so there's three. I, I knew what you meant. <laughs> so a Chain of Memories original, 358, and uh, Dream Drop Distance. I didn't think Dream Drop Distance was bad. I know it's a lot of people didn't really care for it. And what I will say about it is that's where they got the whole flow motion or whatever from. For Kingdom Hearts 3, which I'm just not a huge fan of. So, like, personally, I would have been okay with not having that be a thing. <laughs> While I didn't mind the game itself, I, I definitely prefer the regular movement from Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and uh, Birth by Sleep. 358 was okay. It's 358 was just definitely a mobile game with like its mission based structure for playing and whatnot. Um, but other than that, I thought the story was pretty good for it and the gameplay was fine. Like, nothing special, but nothing terrible either. We pull you out. Ah, there we go. Who are you? Can I... Will you not talk to me? Hello? Oh, <laughs> I can just... Okay. 
<laughs> I was like, why, why can we just tractor beam this dude? Oh, okay, we need him to open the door. That makes sense, man. What is this? I'm assuming this is another tractor beam thing, maybe? Oh god, you're a bomb. You do not like being moved. How big of a boom are we in for? Oh, not not that big. I was thinking like nuclear level explosion or something. Nah, it's just, just like a regular bomb, really. Let's go. Can we like throw stuff with this tractor beam? Okay, that worked. <laughs> Get raccoons for less, thugs for less, whichever one you are in this one. Thugs for less, I think. Hey, you, I need you again, Mr. Inspector Bot, sir. You mind standing on this for a moment? Wait, what? Why did that not work? Drop. What? He gets thrown out. Hmm. Feel like I'm missing something here. Okay, yeah, so, okay, so we need to lift this thing. So is it like a screw? Oh, you, come here. Oh god, I'm... Okay, is that the wrong way? Maybe screw it this way? What? Oh wait, you get like thrown out of it every time, right? Not hard enough though. Do I need to stand on it? I do not understand what's going on. Can I? Tractor beam you while I go up? No. Can I tractor beam you up to here? Mm, nope. Too far. What am I missing? Can we actually win stuff? It just blows it up, doesn't it? No, it's an actual vending machine. Can we play again? Oh, it costs us money, though. So it's literally just slots. Oh, now it's going to blow up. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't. Okay, try again. I don't have a gambling problem. You have a gambling problem. Come on, big money. Big money. Give us jackpot. Wonder if this is hard coded or actually random. I don't know if any of the prizes are even worth it though. That's just ammo. Yeah, I don't think it. Well, I mean, there are the three bars though. What do the three bars do, man? Well, we'll never know. <laughs> so we're so close to dying right now. I know access denied. I'm trying to figure out how to get access granted. Does it just need to... Okay, his feet are facing the right way. But he falls out. What if we... Like, it spins around. Surely the spinning means something, right? I thought maybe it was like a giant screw and we had to raise the whole platform, but it doesn't seem like it. Oh, it's a freaking slingshot. Okay. Uh, camera this way. 
There we go, dude. Let's go. I guess that makes sense. It's just, it's, uh, you guys don't see me. Can I just, like, maybe blow you up? Get wrecked, my guys. You too. Eat my bomb. Can we go through here? Oh, no, you need a bomb to blow that up, huh? Does our bomb work, or is that a... That's a bomb over there, isn't it? We're going to have to carry the bomb. Yeah, okay. We got this. All right, tractor beam. That's not the tractor beam. Uh, camera, please. really wish we could move faster that's fine for some reason it didn't damage us so we gucci i have no idea if we're even going the right way or the wrong way i'm assuming the wrong way right because we got in here by using the tractor beam or whatever and the tractor beam wasn't like a required thing for us to unlock in the last level to come here so this is probably just extra crap that we're getting right now. Considering that if whenever we come back to finish this game, we're not even going to use the same save. It's probably a waste of time, but it's too late. We're already here now. Why could I not jump up there? Okay. Uh, I mean, oh, oh, it's this again. What are we blowing up? Probably these things? Or not? Maybe I just pulled it back too far. Maybe you have to like... Yeah, okay. I, th I think maybe it's that. Like... Damn. Let's go. Okay, there's one. And it looks like there's one, like, high up over there. Nice. And you. There's another one high up. Right. Right. About there-ish. Get wrecked. And your turn. Guessing right here. Dude, professional gamers. Now, can I blow up this vehicle, too? Can't tell if I just threw it too far or if it just doesn't work. Uh, I'm thinking we can't blow up the vehicle. It's a sad day. Sabotage. Oh, okay. Wait, what? We're leaving? Oh, the jamming array is like a physical Continue location. The jamming array. Destroy okay. the six transponders. Suddenly we're playing Mario Galaxy? What? God, this is trippy, man. <laughs> the freaking surface gravity thing. With small planets. Press select for R3. We don't need no map. Hit the exposed rods to destroy the towers. Oh. Thought that explosion was going to hurt us, but we're fine. This planet's small enough. Surely we can find the other transponders around here somewhere, right? What is this? Is that the exposed core of the planet? Doesn't seem safe, my guy. This 
planet slash asteroid or whatever just seems downright unstable. to go can't go any farther that way don't think this is the way we came from could be wrong though there's a distinct possibility that I am wrong that looks like a transponder right is there a crank there is a crank let's go that okay <laughs> it's not the one I thought it was but that's fine I guess what I thought was a transponder just wasn't, which... fair. I might have lied earlier, we might need that map, actually. For a massive jump, stand on the blast pad and press X. Oh! Very cool, okay. Send us fucking sworn, my guy. Can we just go in this? What is... No. Oh, that is the transponder, isn't it? <laughs> we can't just destroy it from the top? Bye-bye. I, mean, I guess that makes them easier to find. The giant yellow green light coming off of them. Bit of a dead giveaway. more remaining. Well, I see the light from one right over here. Are we safe to just, like, jump down there? Oh, no. This is another, like, way up in the sky one, huh? Well, we don't have the ability to, like, hover right now. Is it, like, is there another jump pad somewhere? Hey, hey, you. What are you haying? Never gave me my coin. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting it. You'll have to remind me one of these days to bring it home. Well, there's one. Can we get to that one at least? That's... This is the one we already did. Is there, like, anywhere else we can jump with that jump pad? Doesn't appear to be. Does, like, going in here do anything? Nope. <laughs> it just burns our ass. That's all it does. All right. Let's look at the map. This is not what I expected for the map. That's okay. Where's the other... So there's one up there. So if we jump there, we could jump to there. But how do we jump to there? Oh, there's also... Okay, there's jump pads on all of these. So is there just a jump pad over here anywhere? There's one there. Where... Where are we? <laughs> this is a terrible map, man. Oh my god, yeah. I'm so lost right now. Okay, I think the answer is just keep running around and looking for jump pads on the ground. <laughs> Honest to God. Here we go. Here's a jump pad. Perfect. I knew that was the right answer. Uh, but... Ow. Ow. One, we need health. Two, where's the... Where's the thing to raise it? Is that it? That would be it. Okay. Please don't die. We're so close now. One more, my guy. One more. I 
How do we get over to you? Do we just like YOLO it? We do. Okay. Not that that's particularly helpful in any way, but for my own curiosity, I had to know. All right. Now, how do we get to the last one? Hmm. So, last one is right there. Oh, there's a jump pad, like, right right next to it. Okay. So, we're, like, here-ish. Oh, shit. We're, we're literally walking right towards it. Perfect, my guy. Perfect. I don't know how I missed this jump pad last time when I was trying to find it. Maybe it, like, didn't activate until we got the other one or something. I guess there's one more problem. Where's the screw? Oh, it's right there, too. Easy. Now, what the hell does this do for us, man? We went out of our way to jam it. Does that mean there's going to be less? Sphere disabled, mission complete. Okay. Boy, you are proving to be invaluable in this underwear. Anywho, it appears the thief is now under the protection God, of thugs for less. But I may have found a way for you to insinuate their operation. Is it dangerous? No, no, no. Uh, well, uh, actually, yes, it is. Good. Take a look at this. The wind in your hair, the sun on your skin, the bugs in your teeth. Yummy. You are the Desert Riders. Before I became a Desert Rider, I didn't fit in anywhere. I had low self-esteem, bad breath, and a thing for ladies' undergarments. <laughs> but these guys understand me. They really do. Yeah, I'm just here for the bake sales. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, yeah, I also make these cute gloves for all the guys. So if you've got what it takes, use this temporary membership to enter the most grueling hoverbike race in the galaxy. Win it and become one of us. Wait, Desert how does that help us with the problem? One with the thugs for, less? thugs for less? Desert riders all use Megacorp bikes, so I just had to pull a few strings. Contract me as soon as you get more indignation. This widget, out. I greatly dislike you. I just want you to know that this widget. You're using large words to try and sound smart, but you're not even using the correct words. Just speak like a normal person, please. Ooh, okay, no, nope. We're not completing this save. There's no reason to go back and collect those six boxes worth of nuts and bolts it's not worth it we don't need them just keep moving forward we'll still collect all the nuts and bolts that we walk past though i literally can't help it even though i know it's pointless right now <laughs> i can't stop myself it's a problem i see shiny things and i have to collect them oh god you got real gun now oh that Damn. We're gonna die again, dude. Oh, wait. Wasn't there a health pack back here, actually? Like, right here somewhere or something? Or not. I must be thinking of something else. Either that or it didn't respawn with everything else. <gasps> More slot machines! Can we play these ones, too? Do any of you drop health by any chance? I could really use health. Oh, damn, dude. I was literally... I just had to wait for my chance, man. So at least checkpoints are right there. I like those little robot dudes better whenever we're the ones summoning them to do our bidding.
much rather watch them eat the ass of the enemy than to eat my ass. Ooh, big boom. Everyone dead? Can I gamble in peace now? Thank you. Ooh, I don't think it's a preset pattern. One of them lost. So what's the jackpot, man? Okay, one just blew up. Watch it be impossible to get the jackpot. I mean, that'd be fitting. I don't think there's a casino out there that isn't at least partially rigged. Thanks, I guess. For your pity coins. Oh god, I walked right into that. It's just ammo. I got so excited when I saw the different graphic lining up over there. I thought I finally got the jackpot. All my dreams had come true. Can we like influence it in any way by smacking it or anything? No. Wait, is it out of coins? No, okay, we're still getting coins. I only got 15 for that one, though? Trash. Come on, dude. Give me the jackpot. Line up the three bars. You know you want to. Oh, God. <laughs> We got one more chance at this. We'll have more chances whenever I get myself killed from being an idiot, so <laughs> that's good news, right? Gonna lose all of our savings playing the slots. Gotta make more money so I can waste it. Where's Nate when you need him, man? I'm sure we could convince him to sit here all day playing the slot machines for, like, a sandwich. Starting to think the jackpot is impossible. I mean, maybe it's just like a real-life slot machine and it's actually super rare, but... Normally in video games, you know, they make the winning a little bit easier. God, don't fall off, dude. <laughs> hey, health. Let's go, dude. I actually do kind of need the health, so thank you. Should have checked and seen how much money we had before we started gambling. See if we're making a net profit or if we're just losing money. I think we're actually making profit. Not a ton, but I think we are making some. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, wait, for real? Bruh! <laughs> That's sick! Not only did we get, like, what was that? 400 coins or something like that? 300 coins, but a whole skill point? I didn't even realize skill points were a thing. What do we do with them? Weapons? Gadgets? Quick select items. How do we how do we special? Skill points. Nice ride. Oh, uh, can we not do anything with the skill points? Plank needs a new pair of shoes. Win 300 bolts from a slot machine. Damn, dude. <laughs> well, okay. Maybe I got a little too excited over nothing. Uh I mean, if you want to give us health one more time before I blow you up, that's fine. But now I'm going to blow you up. 
Hold on, dude. We are in a winning streak. Come on, man. How can I blow it up whenever it just... Okay, you know what? I don't need it anymore. <laughs> the ammo was the last straw. I don't need your freaking ammo, man. We got enough of that laying around. Is that close enough? Yeah, get wrecked. Blow up. And my aim is terrible. Oh shit, dude. I walked right past these other ones. What am I doing? Thank you, game. Give me coin. I really just want a freaking long jump, man. Oh god. I thought we were going to fall off. <laughs> What is, is this telling us to jump up? Okay. You will automatically it's weird that they have a graphic for that. So, like... Up, press X. To drop down, press R1. That insinuates that every race whenever they... Or every person that comes here is supposed to just crawl across the ledge like this? It's not very accessible for, like, you know, elderly, disabled people that just don't want to shimmy across a precarious ledge. Oh wait, can we like just jump up here and walk across? No. You will automatically grab ledges Game. And jump up to I know, thank you. We saw the bombs equipped. Oh god. There's so much stuff going on. Okay. Everything is fun. Are these guys just respawning? Wait, are you a hologram? Where are you guys coming from? They are holograms. But how are they damaging me if they're holograms? Hold on. Can I... Can I blow up your ship? Ow. No, I cannot. Okay, the gravity bombs are, like, stuck to the bottom. Oh, it's flying away now. Okay. Wait. Is that why the thugs are so cheap? Are they all holograms? Jump between walls by jumping toward a wall and pressing X again as you hit it. I mean, I guess that's a lot cheaper way to, like, run your business there, you know? Instead of real people, just semi-real holograms <laughs> holograms that can cause damage i don't oh god there's bombs now we're gonna die here uh yep i'm dead well <laughs> We knew it was going to happen, and honestly, it is 8 minutes till 2. I think that's a good place to call it. I love me some Ratchet & Clank games, man. We currently have Ratchet & Clank 1, Ratchet & Clank 1 Remake, and uh, Ratchet & Clank... What's the other one? We have another one on the list of games to complete, I'm pretty sure, too. Uh, Deadlocked. That's the other one. Which, personally, I think is probably the worst of the ones that I've played. But... That's besides the point. This one's definitely going on the list as well. I love these games. Uh, but yeah, that's all the time we have for tonight. Goodbye to you as well, Mr. Noodle. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while I very sleepily try to make my way through some <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. Tomorrow is Monday, so I'll be off Tuesday. Maybe more Morrowind. I haven't decided that for sure, but possibly. There's a small chance we'll play more Morrowind on Tuesday. Until then, though, guys, have a wonderful night, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.